Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back under the video from Ham on Beats, and today we're going to check out some JoJo fun facts. I don't think I'm going to check any of the others out because looking at the thumbnail, it seems to be like part seven and eight stuff in there. Um, so I don't know, but a part of me is tempted because someone made um, left a comment on a video once, which was very true, which is like if I do see stuff to part seven and part eight. Uh, um, I'm probably going to forget by the time the anime comes out, so I might start checking out stuff that has part 7 and 8 stuff, but let me know what you guys think down below, because I probably will forget by the time the anime does come out. But let's check out some JoJo fun facts. The JoJo series has been running for 35 years now, and has been spread far between but manga, anime, now, movies, yeah. and plenty of other forms of media. JoJo's bigger than it may seem, and there's a lot of pieces of trivia out there that most people don't seem to know about. So here I'd just like to go over a list of interesting things that you may not know about JoJo. Cool. Did you know that Noriaki Kakuin's first name was originally meant to be Tenmei? Tenmei. In the Jojonium Volume 12 interview, Araki says that when he originally wrote the kanji for the name, he meant for it to be read as Tenmei. But his editor misread it as Noriaki, oh, wow. and that's the name that it was later published with. Oh, so it wasn't like him deciding it was a mistake, and then they just ran with it. I like stuff like that, that's quite funny. Araki decided to leave it be, and says that maybe his parents named him Tenmei, but his friends call him Noriaki. <laughs> okay. That's not the only character who's had a name change, however. A lot of characters in stands have had their names altered over the years. Kakuin's Hierophant Green was actually originally named Hierophant Emerald. Oh. In the original <laughs> release of Weekly Shonen Jump in 1989, the stand 89. debuted with its original name. God. A few chapters later, when Kakuin leaves for Egypt with the group, the name was changed to the one we know today. Subsequent reprints of the earlier chapters were updated to change the name as well. Right. The stand of the turtle, Coco Jumbo, in Part 5 was originally given the name T-Rex in a 1998 interview with Rocky. A couple years later, in the Jojo Agogo art book, jo -Jo the name of the stand was changed to Mr. President. Isn't that a cool name for a book? Jojo a go, go I love that. The name that it's known by today. In part 6, the stand Planet Waves was originally named Earth, Wind, and Fire. This is nice. a name that was already given to the ability of Mikitaka from part 4. In later releases, Westwood's stand was renamed to Planet Waves. The stand Made in Heaven was named Stairway to Heaven in the original release. Makes sense, but I reckon because of maybe copyright or something? This was later updated with the volume releases. In Part 8, Kei Nijimura's name was originally listed as Kyo. This was apparently a typo that went unnoticed for quite some time, and it wasn't okay, I mean, until Volume like, 24. Stuff like this isn't really going to affect me, so if it's stuff like this that gets dropped, then yeah, you know, let me know, let me know. You guys, you guys got this. I trust you. Or of Jojolian that it was changed to her proper name, Kei. Kay's stand Born This Way also went through <laughs> Born a name this way. change. It was originally named Going Underground after- Nice. So, by the jam, right? But then, um, Born This Way is Lady Gaga. For a song from the English band yes. The Jam. Yes. In the release of Volume 4, the name was changed to Born This Way. However, a remnant of the original name can still be found in the manga, with Kay's design sporting the original initials of the stand on her hat even oh, okay. in her later appearances. Ah, great. Going Did you know that the runaway girl in Part 3 <coughs> has a name? If you're someone who has seen the anime, you may have already known that. In the original manga, the character now known as Anne was never actually given a name, oh. and was just known as the runaway girl. The runaway girl. In the girl. drama CD adaptation of Part 3, she's called Bad Girl. A producer for the JoJo anime approached Araki and asked him to give her a name. In the anime, she's known as Anne, mm -hmm. but Araki actually gave her a full name that went unused. Oh. Her full name is Merlai Anne. This is a pun based on the iconic landmark from her home country of Singapore, the Merlion. Oh, cool. Did you know that Araki <clears throat> briefly considered having Whole Horse join the group? Oh. In part three, he thought about having Whole Horse become a permanent ally. You can kind of see that as well in the way that like he was dealt with, because we never really got like a full, like, what actually happened to Whole Horse afterwards thing, did we? even drawing him together with the group on a chapter cover as a test of this concept. Oh, cool. He eventually decided against it, since I he felt it. his ability was too unbalanced and that he was too similar to Polnareff. 
Did you know that Charles Martinet, the voice of Super Mario, has actually appeared in JoJo? Has he? He provided the voice of Senator Wilson Phillips in the English dub of the Stardust Crusaders OVA. Oh, right, okay. Did you know that Araki has created designs for a video game? The 1991 game Famicom Jump 2 The Strongest 7 Whoa. is an RPG featuring various characters from Shonen Jump, including Jotaro and other Part 3 characters. It has two original enemies that were designed by Araki. Cool. One is called Man-Eating Cactus, you can and see the, the other is called Omnipo. Yeah, you can see the style that he draws in there. You can definitely tell that he's he's drawn them. Did you know that every member of the Nijimura family is named after the kanji for the powers of ten? The Oku in Okuyasu's name means a hundred million. Oh. The Cho in Keicho's name means one trillion. I mean, they've got it written on the... It's written there. Trillion, and he had... Billion on, on, on his top as well. In Jojolian, K's name means 10 quadrillion. But that's not all the Nijimuras yeah. out there. Did you know that Okuyasu and Keicho's father was actually given a name? In the credits of the live-action movie, he was called Mansaku Nijimura. The Mon in Mansaku means 10,000. 10, oh, okay. However, since the Mansaku name doesn't seem to have been provided by Araki, it isn't considered canon. I haven't watched the, any of the live-action stuff. Like, there's the Part 4 adaptation, isn't there? And then there's the Thus Spoke. Rohan, are, um, are they worth watching? I mean, it'd be good to watch them and then watch some Ham on Beat videos afterwards. <laughs> like, they're always fun, but yeah, let me know. In the spin-off light novel George Joestar, there are actually George two more Joestar. Nijimuras who originate from an alternate universe. The first is Muryotaizu Nijimura, Whoa, that hair. whose name can be read as either 10 to the 68th power or 10 to the 88th power. And the other is Fukushigi Nijimura, whose name can be read as either 10 to the 64th power or 10 to the 80th power. Did you know that there's a species of tardigrades named after the stand Love Deluxe? It's called Neostigarctus Love Deluxe. Neostigarctus. It was named by two Japanese scientists in 2013, who thought its hairy appearance made it look like it was being affected by the ability of Love Deluxe. Oh. Did you know that Giorno Giovanna was originally planned to be a woman? In the early stages of planning Part 5, You can kind of see it in design a little bit, can't you? But... Araki considered having a female protagonist. At his editor's suggestion, this idea was abandoned but some aspects of the female character may still remain. According to one of Araki's editors, Jorno's Japanese name, Harunoshi Obana, is feminine, huh? which may be a leftover from the female version of the character. Okay. He also says that Gold Experience's power to create life may have stemmed from the fact that the right. character was a woman. Did you know that the pilot inside Aerosmith has a name? No if way. If you look closely at Aerosmith, you can see a silhouette of a pilot inside the cockpit. Yep. In a 1998 interview, Araki was asked about this pilot, and he says that its name is Smithson. Smithson. Did you know that Fugo was originally <laughs> planned to be an enemy spy? Oh, In no, I didn't know five, that. In five, Araki was going to include wow. an arc where Fugo was revealed to be a spy and Giorno would have to fight and kill him. Oh. However, due to his depressed mental state at the time, Araki decided not to include this, and so he had Fugo leave the group instead. Makes sense as to why he was dealt that way, because I thought it was a bit confusing that Fugo just left, but that makes sense now that you know what happened behind the scenes. Did you know that Araki provided illustrations for the Japanese release of the Alex Ryder novel series? Hmm. The first six books released in Japan from 2002 to 2007, and all feature covers and multiple illustrations drawn cool. by Araki in his signature style. Wow. Did you know that Steel Ball Run was not officially marketed as a JoJo part until it moved to Ultra Jump? When Part 7 first debuted in Shonen Jump, the editors decided to not include the JoJo branding to try and attract attention to it as a completely new series. That's weird. Once the series moved to the monthly Ultra Jump, the JoJo title was put back. According to Araki, despite the name change, he was always writing Steel Ball Run as the seventh part of JoJo. Okay. Did you know that Johnny Joestar is the only main protagonist who hasn't been seen with the Joestar birthmark in any media? In the original manga, the Joestar birthmark wasn't introduced until Part 3, uh -huh. so it isn't seen on Jonathan or Joseph before then. However, in the 2012 anime adaptation, it was added in. Okay. Jotaro, Jorno, Jolene, and Part 8 Josuke all show their birthmark at some point in the story. In the Part 4 manga, Josuke never actually shows his birthmark, but a scene was added to the anime that shows right, it. Right, okay. 
so Johnny is the only main character left that has yet no. to have his birthmark portrayed in mm -hmm. any official media. Despite it not being shown, it has actually been confirmed that he does have the birthmark. Did you know that Araki once drew a cover for a scientific journal? The peer-reviewed journal titled Cell is published twice monthly. In the September 7, 2007 that issue, cool, two Japanese scientists identified a protein named Scrapper that regulates synaptic activity in the nervous system. The findings apparently have helped aid Alzheimer's disease research. Araki's art, which was drawn with direction from the scientists, depicts Scrapper as a humanoid reminiscent of a stand ability, cool. placing heart-shaped ubiquitin proteins onto red rim proteins. Did you know that Josuke's stand, Soft and Wet, originally had a different ability? Before Don't even know what began, its ability is. <laughs> Araki planned on giving the stand the ability to attach screws to objects. He That's changed strange. the idea and gave the stand its bubble ability that we see it use in the manga. Okay. The screw ability was later given to Joshu's stand, Nut King Call. Nut Did King you know Call. that the names of the female Higashikata family members in Part 8 are based on playing cards? Mitsuba's name means clover or club. Hato's name means heart, and Daya's name means diamond. The last one is Sarugi, whose name means sword. In some versions of the classic deck, a sword or pike is used in place of the spade. Oh. His name may be a reference to him not fitting in with the others, since Sarugi is actually male. Interestingly, the mother of the family, Kato Higashikata, is especially playing card themed. Her stand, Space Trucking, has the power Space to place things trucking. between the cards of a deck. Her name, Kato, may be based on the English word for card, and even her age, 52, refers to the number of cards in a deck. That's all I have for now, but Interesting if you have any stuff. other JoJo fun facts that you'd like to see me talk about, comment them down below and I may make another one of these videos. A few of these topics I also covered in my video on a Rocky script ideas for JoJo. Out. I just took some of the major ones from there since I would have felt bad leaving them out. But if you want to see some more ideas that Araki had which never made it into the story of Jojo, check out that video. Interesting stuff. Um, yeah, like, it's not really too spoilery, but it, you know, part of me just wants to, like, go online and read the, uh, the Jojo manga, you know? Because <laughs> I want to know, I'm really intrigued by these, uh, it's like an alternate universe now, isn't it, part 7? Like a re rewriting? Because uh, part 6 was like a, you know, a do-over with what happened. Um... But I love watching JoJo's related stuff, and a couple of you have, have recommended like other channels with JoJo stuff that I might check. And Too Spooky's got 101 JoJo facts, but it covers everything up to part 8. So uh, again, I don't really want to be spoiled on stuff, but uh, yeah, I miss checking Too Spooky's like 101 fact videos. So this year's going to be an interesting one. I might, you know, if enough of you leave comments in this and leave enough likes on this, I will probably start reading part 7 of JoJo's and then continue it because uh, yeah I do enjoy doing these but it's whether you guys want me to cover stuff and yeah let me know down below whether the other fun facts is going to be spoilery or if I can just check it out if it's stuff like that that was in that and then it's not too uh I'm not too fussed and thank you to my patrons if you have your name at the end of every video I upload link in the description to the Patreon page one dollar a month is all that support the channel it's greatly appreciated thank you guys very much for that and thank you all watching what do you guys think of that what do you guys think of this click like subscribe leave comments down below let me know what i should watch this in future videos and i'll see you guys all you guys next time